Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Call of Duty Vanguard. We actually have so much information to go over in regards to Vanguard. They dumped so much info on us today that honestly, it's a bit overwhelming to try to cover all of it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is instead of one massive video where I try to cover everything and therefore all the information is going to get buried amongst the other information. Instead, I'm going to do a number of more bite-sized style videos that focus in on very specific topics that are happening to Call of Duty Vanguard. The focus of this video is going to be changes they're happening to the game's multiplayer going from the beta to the full launch of the game on November 5th. And believe it or not, guys, these changes are actually incredible. I'm actually super stoked about these changes because, in my opinion, they're all warranted and they're all going to make the game better. So hopefully you guys will agree and stay tuned to hear everything that's going to be changing going from the beta to the full launch of Call of Duty Vanguard. Let's kick things off here by talking about what's the biggest change, in my own personal opinion, the revamped audio. So audio was obviously a big point of contention for a lot of players back during the beta. And what they have done is they made global footsteps within Vanguard louder by default, so you actually be able to hear people as they're moving around but they've reworked it a little bit. So your footsteps will be silent when you're walking around while aiming down sights. Your footsteps will be silent while you're crouch walking and your footsteps will be silent while running the new ninja perk. I'm so stoked on this, man. How many times have I talked about that here on the channel? They need to have a ninja. They need to have a dead silence, something like that, you know? And the reason why is because if you don't have a perk like that, it just encourages camping. Like one of the reasons why I personally didn't like Modern Warfare 2019, I know a lot of you guys agree with this as well, is because having dead silence as a field upgrade that's only available for a certain period of time within the match is basically a recipe for disaster if you're somebody that wants to rush around because most of the time you are unable to to silence your footsteps and as a result people that are just hiding in windows hiding around corners hiding behind doors you know those players are able to just camp on you because they hear you coming and there's nothing you can do about it you're punished for moving and rewarded for camping that's bad game design in my own personal opinion feel free to disagree but in call of duty vanguard that's not going to be a thing because your footsteps will be silent while aiming down sights or crouch walking if you don't have ninja equipped and it will always be silent if you do have ninja equipped which is freaking Awesome. Super stoked on that. Thank you, Sledgehammer Games. The next change, let's go ahead and talk about movement as we we're just talking about rushing versus camping there. Well, movement has been buffed in Vanguard. So grenades and incendiaries are no longer going to slow you while holding them, which I suppose is a good thing. There has been a cap that has been placed on the maximum suppression effects. So obviously suppression is kind of like Battlefield in a way where basically if someone's shooting at you, you're going to be suppressed a little bit. And as a result, you're going to move a little bit slower if you're being shot at. Well, they placed a cap on that, so it's probably not going to be as bad as it was during the beta. The sprint out times have been sped up, which is fantastic. I don't know if you guys ever saw those clips of the M1 Grand's sprint out time. It was actually ridiculous. Like, it looked like you were watching a slow motion, like, GIF or something like that. It was so bad. Well, across the board, sprint out times have been sped up, which, once again, is going to reward people for actually moving. And finally, there's going to be a new perk in the game that was not available during the beta called Dauntless. And Dauntless is going to make players immune to movement reducing effects. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be running Dauntless and Ninja on virtually every single class. Silent footsteps and people can't slow me down from moving. That is fantastic news. I mean, if I, if I have to give up Ghost to be able to do that, then sure, fine. I'm okay with that. But uh, yeah, these perks are definitely sounding very good. And the fact that Dead Silence has been added and movement has been buffed is definitely great news, in my own personal opinion. Moving along here, we have weapons. So there have been some weapon changes. Not a ton of them, but some weapon changes. It looks like submachine guns, shotguns, and pistols, of all things, have had their ranges reduced. Apparently, they were too good during the beta. I really didn't play much of the beta, so I didn't really get a good feel for that it seemed like the mp40 and the stg44 were above and beyond the best weapons in the game but yeah going from beta to the full launch smgs shotguns and pistols have had their ranges reduced to make them more effective at close range but not as good at longer ranges which is going to make it so weapon categories like assault rifles and tactical rifles actually i guess they're called marksman rifles but it's gonna make it so those weapons have more of a niche at longer ranges while smgs shotguns and pistols are better at closer ranges speaking of shotguns they've had their close quarters damage increased so while they have less range they are still stronger up close which is kind of what shotguns are used for and across the board ammo types and attachments have been adjusted to hopefully be more balanced i mean they 
didn't really go into super detail in regards to that, but that's to be expected. I mean, if they're going to be changing around these attachments, of which there are like a hundred of them within this game, you know, they're going to be rebalancing them quite a bit off and on throughout the entire year. So, and even going from the beta to the full launch, they're going to be, of course, readjusting those things. So hopefully weapons are going to be a bit more balanced going into the full launch of the game and weapons are going to be able to serve their own particular niches. Like hopefully snipers are good at sniping. Hopefully marks and rifles are good at super long ranges. Assault rifles are good at medium ranges. Hopefully SMGs and shotguns are good at close range, you know, that kind of thing. And then of course, player skill is going to jump in there to kind of mix things up a little bit. But in general, weapon balance sounds pretty decent here. Kill streaks have been changed a little bit, but not super, not, not super big really. So enemy spy planes and counter spy planes are going to be slower. They're going to be easier to hit and they're going to have reduced health. So it's going to be easier to shoot down UAVs and things like that. The cost of the death machine and the war machine have been swapped, which I think is actually a good thing because the death machine was super cheap and super good. And that's coming from someone who barely even played the beta. Like the limited time I had in the beta, the death machine was pretty incredible. And so as a result, uh, they're going to be swapping that, making it so I think it's going to be harder to get as a result. I could have that mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And the glide bomb is also going to be easier to control. They have, going back to the patch notes here, they have reworked spawns to hopefully work a little bit better. If I have the clip, I will put it up here. If I don't have the clip, then I apologize. I think I do have it somewhere. But I remember I was playing Patrol, I think it was on Red Star, and they literally spawned me inside of a wall. Like, it was like a closet or something like that, where I was just, I was stuck. I had to kill myself to get out of there. I was completely stuck. <laughs> they spawned me right there. I didn't, like, glitch in or anything. It's just where I appeared. And, yeah, so they're adjusting spawns, obviously, um, across all the game modes. In particular, they're also really working on patrol, because that's going to be a game mode that, uh... Had a lot of spawn issues back during the beta, and apparently it's going to be a lot better at launch. Hopefully that does work out. And they've also increased visibility in general. So a couple of things, right? So they, like, nerfed the sun. That's actually in the patch notes. They nerfed the sun on that... Gavatu map, is how you pronounce it, where the sun was super bright. They actually nerfed that, so lens flare is not as bad. They made it so on maps where it's raining, you're not going to have those like raindrops on your screen, which I think is a good thing. They removed the distortion effects that you get from the muzzle flash of your gun. They reduced the amount of smoke that comes out of your gun while you're shooting it. So just in general, they're making it so visibility is better, which I think is a good thing, because even on PC, it seemed like there was a lot of like blurriness almost to Vanguard back when I played during the beta. Like Obviously on a day one PS4, like it was awful but then once i played the other part of the beta which i was actually able to play on pc there's still a bunch of weird visibility issues and they apparently have addressed a lot of that going from the beta to the full launch of the game which is definitely good news and in general guys these are awesome changes like this is all very encouraging and i still have a lot more to discuss about vanguard but stay tuned for more videos going up today and in the coming days about this we're going to be talking about all the launch day maps and the core game modes and how they're going to be handling player progression which you guys know is a big thing for me and talking about the different weapons and stuff like that so we have lots more videos to go over it's just right now i want to break these up into more bite-sized chunks for you guys so hopefully you all enjoyed this video specifically covering balance changes that have gone from the beta to the full launch of call of the vanguard which once again is set to begin on november 5th if you guys want to preload the game preloads begin i believe today on october 28th for console you can start preloading vanguard right now and if you play on pc then on november 2nd i believe is when you can start preloading call of the vanguard which once again is like three days before launch so again stay tuned for more videos here coming out later today and in the coming days i hope you all enjoyed this video leave your thoughts and feedback on all these changes down there in the comment section below and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day